Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a Amazon Kindle and you have a blank screen or a black screen. There's nothing on there. It doesn't turn on. You can't get the screen to go on. I'm going to give you guys a bunch of solutions. So make sure you follow every step very, very carefully. At least 50% of you guys are going to be up by the end of this video. Now take note, there's nothing wrong with this Kindle here, but let's just pretend I have a, uh, let's just pretend it's a black screen here or it's a blank screen. Okay. So the first method is this. What you want to do is you want to force restart your Kindle. By the way, this is a Kindle 10th generation. Okay, the only button I basically have on here is just a little power button. So first thing is this. Press and hold the power button. You want to hold it down for like 20 or 30 seconds. With this one here, after 20 or 30 seconds, it's going to blink like white and black. And then I can go ahead and let go of the power button. Once I let go of the power button, once it blinks um, uh, white and black, I can go ahead and let go and then it's going to be off. It's blinking right now. Now I can go ahead and let go of the power button. And now it's basically off. Now what I want to do is go ahead and boot the um, Kindle back up. So I'm just going to go ahead and press and hold the power button. Press, press and hold for like a few seconds. And now we should wait for this to power boot back up now. Give it a second here. So wait for the status bar to go all the way up. And hopefully you guys are up and running. Okay. Now the thing is, if you still can't see a picture on here, if it's still blank or black screen, I want you to do the same thing again because sometimes it takes three, four, five, and six times to do this, okay? So try to do the power button thing if it's still not working a few more times. If you're still not able to get it up and running, next thing I want you to do is go ahead and plug it in and I want you to give it power, okay? So I'm plug it in so and it's charging right now, okay? So it's charging. I wanna wait about one minute after one minute I want you to come back down here and I want you to press and hold the power button. Press and hold for 20, 30 seconds and it's automatically going to reboot. So with it plugged in, it's charging right now. I'm gonna go ahead and press and hold the power button. I'm gonna press and I'm hold it. I'm gonna keep holding on to it. I'm still holding on to the power button. I'm not gonna let go. Still holding on to it. Waiting for it to reboot. Pretend there's nothing on my screen. Pretend I can't see nothing on my screen. Pretend it's just a black screen or just, just nothing on there. Okay, I'm still holding on to the power button here. Now it's blinking. And now I can simply go ahead and let go from here. And now it should boot up by itself. Okay, it's blinking off and on again. Okay, give it a second here. Waiting for that status bar to appear. Hopefully you're, you're able to see the screen right here with the Kindle and the tree here you are then you're going to be good to go okay so finally it took a while it blinked um, white and black again and now it's going through the status bar okay so hopefully you guys are up and running if you're not I want to do the same thing again keep it plugged in go ahead and wait about one minute give it some extra juice and do the same thing press and hold that power button wait for it to blink um, white and black and then go ahead and let go and then it may blink uh, black and white a couple more times and eventually after a minute or two, then you'll start getting the status bar and hopefully you're up and running. Now, if you're still down, this is what I want you to do. I want to go ahead and grab the Kindle and you have two thumbs here. What I want you to do is I want you to start pressing all over the screen, also on top of the bezel too. Give it some pressure all on the screen. Just keep pushing in like this, okay? Keep pushing in, keep pushing in all over. Flip it over and do the same thing on the back because it's possible you have like a small disconnection issue as well. Okay, so anyways, keep pressing with your thumbs firmly all over. Flip it back over. Do the same thing. Go up on the screen. Go all over. And then do the um, force restart again. Go ahead and press and hold the power button. Doesn't matter if it's uh, plugged in or not. Go ahead and give that a try again. If it's still not working, Next thing I want you to do is this. I want you to tap now. Start tapping all around the screen, even on the bezel here as well, okay? Tap all over here, even on the bottom here, all over the screen, flip it over, same thing on the back. Keep tapping that. Flip it over, go ahead and do a force restart and hopefully you're back up and running. If not, now the next thing I want you to do is this. I call this a smack method. I, what I want you to do is smack it on the back of your hand like this. Flip it over, make sure you get the bottom side. Also, the screen as well, okay? 
pop that like that. Make sure you get the bottom here as well. Now go ahead and force restart the Kindle again. Remember, just press and hold the power button down. Wait for it to blink black and white. And then once it blinks uh, black and white, let go. And then go ahead and hold it for a few more seconds to boot it back up. If that doesn't work, then you may want to try to go ahead and go back to charging it and trying to force restart like that as well. Now the thing is, if your Kindle is still down and, you're sh and you are sure that it's taking a battery charge, you're sure that uh, when you plug it in, it's actually charging, you want to make sure that the port here doesn't have like lint or debris or dirt. You can always get like a toothbrush here, kind of go in the charging port like that and blow it in. Give it a little clean here. Also, you want to make sure that your cable is good as well. It could be defective. And then go ahead and plug it in and then go ahead and then plug it in um, again. And then it's possible that your um, it didn't have any battery juice in here. So go ahead and plug it in and wait 10 minutes now after you clean out the charging port and then go ahead and try all the steps again, okay? Try to do the force restart with it plugged in as well as out, okay? Now the thing is, if your Kindle still has a blank screen or a black screen, the next thing I want you to do is this, and this may sound kind of ridiculous as well, but this works on a lot of other tablets and phones as well. What you gotta do is grab your Kindle just like this, go to your refrigerator, open up your freezer, pop this in your freezer, leave it there for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes is up, take it back out and start from the very um, the first method in the beginning of this video. Start by pressing and holding the power button, try it out a couple times, that doesn't work. Go ahead and do the um, cable method, plug it in, and then press and hold the power button, try it out a few times, and then also do the uh, tapping, also the pressing on both sides of the screen, and as well as the smacking. And like I said, at least 50% of you guys should be up and running. Guys, if this work for you, let me know which combination work, which method, or sometimes there's a combination of two or three things that actually gets it up and running. Anyways, I hope that helped you guys out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.